Hello, welcome to a very special retro car unboxing. And I must apologize about my voice. Yes, it's been a week since I got COVID and yeah, I'm still recovering from it. So my voice is kind of shot. But anyway, very, very special on opening today because we got the Zuiki X68000Z. This is the product edition black model. Starter pack. This came out today, or was it yesterday? Anyway, today is Thursday the 28th of September 2023, so this either came out today or yesterday, I can't remember which day it came out, but it doesn't matter because it's here. And I have to say, I am so surprised it came in this actual X68000 branded box. It's definitely been opened at the factory by the looks of it, unless that's how they tape these boxes up, but I think that's been opened at Amazon. Maybe it contained two and they've taken one out and uh, one person's got it in a standard Amazon box and mine's came in this box? I don't know. Um, here we go. It says uh, we got the actual case in here. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, so this doesn't have any accessories or anything like that. Uh, this is the base model. So let's get it open. Okay, I'm excited to see what's in here. Um, for those wondering why I'm so excited, well, X68000 was the best Japanese comp home computer ever. I mean, if you were very rich, never mind owning a Neo Geo, if you had an X68000, you were beyond Neo Geo Elite. You were the ultimate in Elite. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> all those people banging on about the Neo Geo. No, man, the X68000, that's what the Elitists had. And, um, of course, many of us didn't have it back in the day because they were so expensive and very difficult to get hold of. In fact, legend has it that Capcom did use these to program their CPS2 games. Oh yes. Okay, so uh, let's get into this unboxing. Oh, okay, no, it looks like this is how it came out of the factory. Oh, look at that. All right, now I am well aware that these things have been available uh, for a couple of months now, but they were um, beta versions. They were not the final product. This is the final retail product, the, the, the version that you want to get, the version that's been completely uh, looked over and checked and all that. So here we go, looking at the back of the box. Very nice indeed. Okay, and on the sides, nice grey looking there, telling us how to open it, so we've got to be careful. Some details on the side and on that side as well. Okay, so uh, let's uh, open it up. Oh, I'm looking forward to this, man. I just hope the emulation on this thing does not suck. Oh, look at that. We've got a nice uh, card here. Oh, is that a mail card? Oh, it's a plastic card. Make sure there's nothing on the back. Oh, there's uh, some serial code numbers on the back, so I'm not going to show you those. But there's the card there. Look at that. Lovely. It's like private membership card. Excellent. Okay, so that's a nice uh, nice little touch there, opening it up. Uh, let's see, this will be all our documentation by the looks of it. Oh, look at that, we got, oh, classic. Um, I don't know if you know about these, but in Japan, these things are everywhere. I mean, we use these in the office. These are basically just files. And they've been using these things in Japan for years and years and years. They still use these even now. In fact, I was using them just today. Obviously not a Sharp X68000 one. So, oh man, that's awesome. That's great. Good to see that. Okay, let's put that over there. All right, let's see. Um, here's the actual manual. So we'll take a look at that later on. These are our game cases. Let's, uh, let's see if we can take this. Uh, no, it's okay, we'll just flip this up. 
okay that's the system pack cool and this one will be Gradius the game okay so these are micro SD cards but they've made to look they've been made to look like our old five and a half inch floppy disks this is our actual console or computer okay we'll put that over there uh, let's see uh, underneath here looks like we've got the cables yeah we've got the HDMI cable no that's a USB-C USB-C cable hey you know what I just noticed my power brick's not with it oh man that's probably going to come tomorrow and separate parcel I ordered the uh, the official power brick as well it's not with it okay there's the uh, HDMI cable and over this side we should have the controller yes we do <coughs> there's the controller as well all right so um, let's uh, just put this on the floor for now and let's take a look at the controller if you see something pink and hairy down there don't worry it's my leg <laughs> all right let's uh, get this out <clears throat> oh nice it's got a nice uh, glossy feel to it there oh d-pad's pivoted nice nice pivot there on the d-pad that's good to see buttons feel nice and responsive of course we've got the rapid fire as well oh start select and start here at the bottom not bad oh shoulder buttons as well got L and R shoulder buttons up here not bad at all here you go take a look at that oops that's not bad is it it's quite nice there's the uh, buttons down the bottom and shoulder buttons over the top not bad at all feels quite good and USB yeah USB has to be expected okay let's take a look at the actual unit and here it is here it is the Sharp X68000 this is where our games will go in again made to look like three and a, uh, five and a quarter inch uh, floppy disk drives was it five and a half inch five and a quarter I can't remember now <laughs> but anyway it's meant to look like old school floppy disks but yeah SD cards go in there got your little eject buttons as well little volume knob there does it do anything oh it does it actually turns so we've got a proper volume knob there that's going to control the headphone socket there so you can uh, control your volume there with your volume knob we've got the power button got a reset and uh, interrupt button here at the top interesting does the handle come out now on the original machine this handle would come out I think it, it does look like it moves but uh oh you push it okay you push it in and it pops out a little bit and you can carry your x68000 by the handle hmm now it's plastic I thought that might be metal but it's plastic and you just push it back in like that nice Put LEDs there for the loading and timer and power. Around the back, we've got all our USB sockets. We have our HDMI out, and what's this? UART. Oh, not too sure what that is. And then we got our DC in there. And here we've got something that's screwed down. I think it'd be very rude if we didn't have a look inside there, right? Let's, uh, let's take a look. There we go, we got it. Okay, what's in here? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. Looks like, let me just get the phone. There might be some sort of socket down there. Hang on, let's just get the light on. Let's see. No, there's a. Uh, there's nothing down there, right? Can you see? 
Oh, well, that's weird. So obviously there must be something or some reason why that is there, but uh, doesn't seem to be any connection or anything like that. Interesting. I have to take a look in the manual and see what that's all about. Okay, well for now, let's, uh, let's put it back together. Okay, so let's take a look at the two uh, bits of software that came with the starter pack. So first we've got the system disk. Uh, let's see if we can open that up. Looks like we just uh, pressed a little catch here. A little bit tricky for people without it. With a, there we go. And yeah, as you can see, it's just a standard micro SD card. It's got a nice little foam insert though. So yeah, that's just a standard micro SD card. And that's the uh, operating system. And this one will be the uh, Gradius game. As you can see there, a 6 8000 Gradius. Alright. Now also, you should be able to play ROMs on this just from SD cards. But what format they need to be in, I don't know yet, so we're going to find that out. So, I think the first thing to do is, let's connect this up to the TV. And uh, we'll do a direct capture and see what it's like when it's running. Just before we move over to the TV, taking a look at the instruction manual, you'll notice that that little flap is not labeled. So, hmm, is it there just for show? And if it is, then why does it have a screw in it? Interesting, but it's certainly not labeled. So maybe something for the future, who knows? Okay, so here we are taking a look at the interface for the first time. Got a nice little jolly tune playing in the background. We can use a mouse or a keyboard. I'm going to just use the joypad since we've got that set up. And then we'll go straight into the options. Okay, so there we go. The speaker out. Oh, that's it. It's an internal speaker. It says our Pontai speaker output. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's got a speaker inside the actual unit. I can hear it. Okay. Uh, disc sounds on or off. That's cool. We'll keep them on. That is weird. We've got a speaker built into it. Okay, we can set up the date. Um, all right. So all our copyrights and stuff. What's this one? Uh, staff credits. So basically a credit uh, listing of all the people involved in the actual making of this. Let's back out. And um, I think this bottom one here is yeah, reset everything. We don't want to do that. So, that's pretty... I still can't get over it's got a built-in speaker. That's weird. Oh, speaking to me now. So we got um, our SD card folders there. The X emulator. And this looks like you can go... That's a QR code. Okay, so that's a community. Uh, what's this? The X emulator. The emulator, okay. So, is this going to give us an actual x68000 working environment? It's going to be interesting if it does. Yeah, it's telling me to put the disk in it. Um, okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's put the uh, system disk in and uh, see what happens. Okay, system disk is in. Yeah, it's loading it up. <laughs> How about that? That's <laughs> pretty cool. So it looks like uh, we basically get the actual, yeah, we do. We've got the actual environment and I can't control it with the D-pad. It looks like I need to connect up a, a USB mouse, but uh, yeah, we can actually use it as an X68000 computer. 
So uh, let's check out the contents of SD card zero. By the way, I did put one of the main SD cards into the PC and uh, it couldn't read it. It wanted me to format the card, which I wasn't gonna do. Okay, so uh, no, it's not opening it. No, it's not opening that at all. So it looks like the cards have to be in some sort of funky format. Let's just see if we can boot the uh, Gradius game from here, this screen. Let's open the uh, SD card. Okay, light is green. Ah, the card file folder has opened. Yeah, press the A button, go straight into that. And uh, okay, we've got some save slots. And uh, we can pick a new game, okay. And it looks like it's booting up the game. By the way, the output of this machine is 720p. So uh, just in case you're wondering, that's what it's uh, outputting. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> right where the boss is. Okay, well, you know, that seems to be working pretty decently. Alright, so I've got a mouse connected to it now. I've got a, a wireless USB mouse connected. And um, let's see what's in the bin. Oh, loads of stuff in the bin, actually. <laughs> what's that all doing in there? Wow. Uh... I haven't used an X68000 in years. It's a uh, run Commander X. Oh, I go straight to the uh, DOS prompt. Uh, I've got a keyboard set up, so that's kind of uh, ruined that one, hasn't it? Okay. I have no idea what's going on. How do I close things? I think this is it, isn't it? No, that makes it full screen. Uh, that shrinks it down, does it? I can't remember how to use a X68000. <laughs> oh man. Um, all right, so anyway. <laughs> there's me just um, pottering around here. No idea what I'm doing. Uh, I can't fix this, these are all, I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Yeah, here we go, what's this kanji thing over here? Ooh, more stuff. The uh, X68000 theme, it says the. What's that gonna do? Oh, music demonstrations! X68000, no theme. Sharp, stereo. I can't do anything. Maybe if we had the keyboard set up, we could change the tracks, maybe. Oh, there we go, there's a keyboard. Virtual keyboard, Let's see if we can move it along a bit. No, 
I don't think that's going to do anything, is it? No. Okay, well there you have it. That is the Sharp X68000 Mini. A quick unboxing and a quick look at it set up. Um, I'm going to have to take a look through the manual and, uh, you know, try uh, figuring out what type of format the SD card needs and all that. But first impressions, I'm liking it. Good stuff. Alright, till next time guys, take it easy, keep on gaming, enjoy your games. See ya.